What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Moment episode. Y'all are getting an intro at the end of the video, but on some things like this, I like to uh, do the intro after it's been successful because there's so many times that I go out to film stuff and I just film useless stuff and not able to use it. So, luckily for you guys, y'all get to see some awesome action. I'm with my buddy Joey, and uh, we went out to his home lake. He had some spots to noodle, and we went and noodled us some fish. So y'all stay tuned, enjoy. Uh, there's not gonna be a whole lot of talking. It's just us going on into these holes and coming up and down out of this water. So uh, I may do a little explaining here and there, uh, just voiceover stuff, but y'all enjoy it. And uh, when we get done, we'll see you at his house bleeding these suckers and then cleaning them up. And uh, we're eating catfish for dinner. Check it out. Well guys, we had just gotten in the water uh, and I spotted this fish. Little channel cat. We think it was, there were some guys fishing on the bank and we think they gut hooked it. And uh, that's why I was just kind of head down in the dirt. It wasn't in, it was in rocks, but it wasn't like in a hole. So it was still well alive. We actually did take this one. Uh, we didn't want it to just die and go to waste. And uh, so yeah. Caught this one with our bare hands, just basically out in the open. Little old channel cat. So we're at our first hole here, and what this is is a an old dock basically, and it has concrete on the bottom where these pillars come into the water, and there's like four holes around this whole concrete pillar, so. Joey is going into the biggest hole and he's having me block one side of it at least and uh, to try to not let the fish come out or at least try to see where the fish are so he goes down and, and basically puts himself halfway into that hole and reaches his hands as far as he can to, to see if he can feel where that fish is and then he sent me onto this side because uh, he felt the fish go back to this corner. Basically what he's doing is just going, while you see him keep going up and down, he's he's just trying to get a feel where this fish is and at any time it could come and smoke his hand, but that's what he's going down there for, coming back up to catch his breath and then going back down again and again, basically until that fish is mad enough to bite him or, uh, or moves because my feet are kicking in the other holes and pushing him towards Joey. He finally gets smoked, pulls this nice fish out. This ended up being the biggest fish of the day. There you go, baby. Nice yellow cat. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, one down, two down. We're gonna go check some more holes. We're gonna swim across. <laughs> Try not to get hooked on a trot line and go check some more holes. In there. This next spot that we're at is a boat ramp and it literally had like 10 holes on all the parts of the boat ramp that were in the water so i was having to lay down in the water to try to block these holes some were six inches deep and some were two foot deep and when i say deep from the bottom of the boat ramp to the bottom of the hole and then of course it goes way back underneath the boat ramp they, these fish basically hollow out big holes underneath these boat ramps and, and big rocks and slabs of concrete and that's where they're in there spawning. Gosh dang it. 
did hear something. Uh, so here I am going down. Joey had the fish right where I could get to him. So I went down, sucked my arm in there. I wish y'all could hear the thump underneath the water that happens. Uh, he smacked my hand pretty good. It wasn't a huge fish, probably a 10 pound, 12 pound yellow cat and uh, pulled him out. There's not much adrenaline like it is uh, getting bit by a big old flathead. Guys, I hope you uh, can hear me. My GoPro keeps dying on me, but we're headed back. We're gonna suck it out of these arms. Oh, it's getting deep right here. All right, guys. Uh, so all I did was take a knife and score him around and down. I'm gonna take these channel locks. I'm gonna skin him. Grab a hold of that skin and just peel it off. Peel it down on both sides and then we'll fillet them. I got them skinned all the way around. We're gonna come in here, take these fillets out. And we'll come in and get that belly meat. There's one big old fillet. We're gonna have to trim the fat off. A big camera just died, but we pulled that one side off. Now we'll come in here and get this other. Okay. I'm going to knife down that backbone. Play. And I think when I was saying before the camera, right when the camera died, we got to trim all that fat off. And now we come in here and get the belly meat. And we get our cheek right here. Peel off that skin just like that. Big old piece of cheek meat. 
And that's how you clean a catfish, guys. We got some Texana Brands olive oil, sorry, cottonseed oil heating up. Uh, and I got one filet over here I just sliced up into some strips. And here's two cheeks off the bigger catfish. So got an egg in here with a little bit of water. Whisk that up. And we're gonna drop all this fish in here into the egg wash. And then it's going straight into some Louisiana fish fry batter. Add a little critter glitter fish and fowl in there. At the end, we'll mix this around. Throw it in this bag. We'll just shake it until they're all coated. I'm trying to be quiet. Ryder just went to bed. But, very sad day. We are out of ketchup. Let's see what this flat head tastes like. One out of ten, fried catfish. That's delicious. Give that like a solid 8-1, 8-2. Just good as five catfish yet. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I just want to hop on here and remind you guys that we are doing a Malt Man Bait Co. giveaway. All you have to do is click the link in the description. You don't have to buy anything. No purchase, no purchase involved. Uh, it's kind of like a point system. Just click the link in the description and uh, it'll give you the steps to follow to enter to win. We're giving away uh, a cooler, a Moltman tumbler, baits, hats, koozies, uh, along with the new Miss Piggy uh, Moltman Bait Co. color. So y'all go do that, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm headed back to the coast. So leave in the comments what y'all want to see. I think we might do a little spear fishing, so stay tuned for that. But catch you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit thumbs up, and remember... Eat good.